Hi, my name is Dr. Noreen Burke and I'm the Explorers Education Officer. The Explorers Education Programme aims to integrate marine themes into primary school education. There are lots of resources, experiments and lesson plans that you can download from our website on explorers.ie. They use materials that you might already have in the classroom, that you can purchase at your local arts and crafts shop, or recycled materials that your students can bring in for you. Today we're going to do bubble art, a lesson plan which incorporates learning about primary colours and one of the most amazing animals on the seashore, the starfish. There are lots of amazing creatures around our seashore. You can ask your students to pick different ones if you want. You might ask them to choose their favourite, such as sharks or whales or dolphins. But we're going to use the starfish as our inspiration today. The starfish is a truly remarkable animal. It can regenerate limbs if one gets broken off or gets eaten by a crab or a lobster. That means they can grow them back. It feeds by putting one of its stomachs out through its mouth here on the bottom of its body, which it puts inside poor shellfish and dissolves them before it sucks up like a nice shellfish smoothie. They have an eye spot at the end of each of their arms, which mean that starfish, like sea stars, can have up to 40 eyes. And they breathe by pumping water through their arms, using tiny little holes on their surface which gives them a kind of a porous texture. Now, your students are going to be able to add some texture to their pictures when they do their bubble art. To begin your bubble art, you're going to ask your students to draw a picture of a starfish. This is one we did earlier. To add some texture before you do the bubbles, you can get them to do some rubbings using their crayons. They can place their starfish on a dried or a rubber starfish if you have one in class. Or if you have some shells from the seashore, they can place them on top of those. Or maybe even something like a big rock to add in some texture first. Of course, when they do the bubble art, they're going to be putting lots of texture over their drawing as well. Once they've finished their pictures and they've put in their texture, you can talk to them about primary colours. Primary colours are colours that cannot be made by mixing other colours together. They include red, blue and yellow. Black and white are also primary colours, but they're really just used for lightning and darkening. So we're not going to talk about those today. If we look at our colour triangle, we can see that our primary colours are at the corners. And if we mix two of our primary colours together, such as the red and the blue, we can make a secondary colour, which in this case will be purple. If we mix our yellow and our blue together, we could make green. And if we mix our red and our yellow together, we could make orange. If you mix two secondary colours together, such as orange and green, you can make a tertiary colour. But we're just going to stick to the primary and secondaries today. To make our bubble mixture, we're going to add two of our primary colours together and the colour that we're going to make today is purple, so we're going to add some red and some blue. We're going to put about a tablespoon of each colour paint into our glass and then we're going to mix them together. You may decide to add more of either colour um, after you've mixed if you're not happy with the colour. We're looking for a nice purple colour here. Need to get it all down off the side of the glass and get it all mixed in. Now, once you're happy with the colour, the next step will be to add your washing up liquid. And you need to add about the same amount of washing up liquid as there is paint in your glass. There's about this much, so we're going to add a good squirt of washing up liquid into our paint mix. Now, we're going to mix those up together. You'll notice it's kind of thick at this stage when you're mixing. Now, when you've those two mixed, the final step will be to add your water. And to about this much paint and washing up liquid mixed together, you need to add probably about a dessert spoon or two of water. 
you'll notice that when you mix them, your bubble mix is going to be quite watery and there should be lots of lovely bubbles on the surface. Make sure you have all the paint and everything from the bottom of the glass here. So you can see it here, it's quite runny, quite watery and lots of lovely bubbles on the surface. You can mix the paint yourself or you can ask your students to do it individually. They might also work as teams or in groups around different stations around your classroom. They can mix their paint in plastic cups like we did today or in painting trays and you might give them different sets of colours. So once you have your colours mixed together, the next step would be to give your students their straws. Now you can give each student their own straws and as they move around the room or they move to the different colours, they can take their straw with them or you can give them a new straw. To make the bubbles in their bubble mix, what they need to do is put their straw down into the glass and blow. But remember to tell them it's really important that they don't suck because they don't want to drink any of this bubble paint mixture. Okay, so we blow in until we have a lovely kind of column of bubbles on top. And then what they do is they get their pitcher and they lower it pitcher side down on top of the bubbles. But try not to touch the rim of the glass. And then they do that over and over again until they have lots of different colours and lots of different layers on top of their pitcher. By doing this lesson plan, your students will learn about primary colours and bubble art while being inspired by this amazing creature from our seashore. For this and other lessons, see our website at explorers.ie.